Fedo. Fedo. Uh, you may have noticed that you only had the positive statements in the previous chapter, but we need to know how to say the negative and the question for these. So that's what chapter 22, uh, lesson 22 is all about. It's the negative and the question for those past tense irregular verbs. So for vime, it's anrevme, anrevme. For hanikme, it's anwakame. Or, I'm sorry, I'm giving you the questions. It's niakame for the negative, anwakame, on putting an ellipsis, ni causing an elinition. Niakame, I didn't see. Anwakame, did I see. Nirevme, I was not. Anrevme, was I. Simple, simple. So it's the same words for the negative and the question. It's just that the ni puts an initian and the an puts a eclipsis, an eclipsis. Now, sometimes those are actually irregular because those are the normally the present tense negative and question words, right? Past tense is normally er, question word, and near, negative. And some of the irregular verbs use those. So you have to learn which one is doing which also. So near hugme, near hanigme, near rugme er, but nirevme, niakame, niername, niwurme, uh, nidortme, niyakime, I did not go. So all of these have to be memorized. I'll go through them again. Nirevme, niakame, nirhulame, niername, nirhugme, Nir hanigme, nir rugme er, ni warme, nir ihme, ni dortme, ni yakime. I did not go. So, anrevtu, anwakatu, erhulatu, anyernatu, erhugtu, erhanigtu, errugtu er, anwartu, er ihtu, annortu, anyakitu. Again, same words, just using ni or an or near and air. Memorize them!